Hello my lovelies. This isn't how I expected to start. The first vlog here. <sighs> I thought the first vlog here was going to be super upbeat, exciting, all of that. And the reality is I'm feeling very overwhelmed today. <laughs> I have so much to catch you up on, so much progress to share with you, but I just kind of wanted to update you on the past few days because it's Thursday and we have been in this house since Saturday. Saturday night was our first night here. And honestly, like we've absolutely loved it so far. This house is perfect for us. And just going back to the rental house really has shown us how much this was the right decision and how glad we are to be out of that house. And every day has been really good, really productive. I have had some like more restful days, obviously being, 27 now, weeks pregnant. Today I got up, started getting ready to do a bunch of things and I wanted to start this vlog. And I thought I was fine, I really did. I was kind of excited, but it took like the smallest thing to trigger me. And I realized how overwhelmed I actually feel, um, kind of underneath the surface. And I think the hardest part is not knowing whether it's because there's a lot going on or because I'm pregnant. Pregnancy kind of messes with your head in the fact that you don't know if you're dealing with things well or if you're dealing with things how you would not being pregnant and it's mind games. <laughs> so I'm not sure but I decided to sit and reflect and just feel how I was feeling for like 10 minutes and I've kind of realised that what I'm feeling overwhelmed about is I think I feel kind of a little bit gridlocked in the fact that there's a lot of things and a lot of things depend on other things and I can only do so much and I feel like it's a ticking time bomb with baby girl coming soon and I just want things to be sorted. Like just for example, so you know what's kind of going on in my head. We've obviously just moved in, we have a lot of stuff. <laughs> so the house is a mess, I will show you that in a second which my sister will be here in less than a week and I just don't want it to be a mess when she's here. I want it to be quite a bit more organized because honestly, it's just chaotic at the moment. Well, that's how it feels for me. Two of the rooms need work doing to them. The snug has a lot of damp on the wall. So we need a builder to come in and have a look at that and that could be a big job, which is fine because that's the junk room at the moment where we're just sorting things out from, but we will hopefully be having a sofa delivered in the next month or so to go in that room. So yeah, that needs to be sorted out. And then also the nursery. Like, I still haven't finished stripping the wallpaper, I need to sand it, paint it, and then get some furniture up and there's furniture lying about in boxes and bags and her clothes and the Moses basket and things that could just go in there out of the way but it can't right now because it's a state in there. <laughs> I also have my baby shower in like two weeks which means more baby stuff coming which I'm really 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 excited for and grateful for but it's like another thing that's just like it's coming, it's looming and I just don't feel ready for it. Obviously, like I said, baby girl will be here soon. We have just started the third trimester. And in my head, as soon as we pass Christmas, she could be here. Yeah, it's just a lot. It feels like I have so much sorting out to do, but I can only do so much from being pregnant and also the house not being ready for things to be sorted. Like there's a utility room and everything. There's just so many things that need to be sorted and it's hard to sort them while you're also in loads of boxes but they've got nowhere to go and it's just oh, freaking me out. We also have no wardrobes. My clothes, which I have a lot of, particularly gym wear from what I do, are all just in boxes and bags and very disorganised. So yeah, it's like there's just a lot and I don't want to sound ungrateful because I honestly wouldn't change it. I feel incredibly grateful to be in this house, our first home, ready for the new year and to have our baby girl. Like I still can't believe that I'm actually pregnant, <laughs> even though I've got the biggest bump ever. I kind of knew that it was going to be overwhelming or that it was going to be a lot, but I didn't really prepare myself for it and I think it's kind of just hit me today and I was going to not vlog. I was going to just be like, no, there's too much to do and you're not feeling great so 
just get it done, vlog another day, but I know that doing this will be good for my mental health, I already feel good for talking to you guys, so we're doing it. I'm going to drag you along on all the mess that I've got to do. I've got a bunch of bags and boxes here to pack away, um, and like I said, I also just want to update you on the house. So we are in the guest room, and as you can see, I've put up the guest bed, which is two single beds stacked so it could stay like this you could put it in like an l shape as a sofa or you can like take it down and have a low double bed it's actually a european king i think so i'm very excited about that and as you can see baby girls moses basket is here which was a gift from my stepsister as she's just finished using it so yeah that will eventually go downstairs but for now this is a semi-organized room so it's going in here and on top of everything else I've got to say Black Friday is coming and that is such a big time of the year for brands obviously and what I do is I work with brands um, supporting them creating content I am really excited for that this year but it's coming up so soon and I just don't again feel ready here to be doing the content that I would like to be able to do so that's another thing on the list to juggle, <laughs> but we'll make it work. Little bump update for you. Like I said, I'm now officially 27 weeks pregnant in the third trimester. And this is big bump. I actually need to do my weekly photo and video update. I will do that later. But yeah, I'm just surrendering to have the belly out today because I'm busy, so I'm warm and it's just the easiest thing outfit FYI is completely right away this is the baby brain is not allowing me to remember what collections these are from but it's basically the brown bra with the super open back and then the joggers kind of match really nicely they are fleece lined and I have the really cute logo on the side I really love this set with the matching jumper as well but obviously I'm too hot for that right now <laughs> As I said, I've got a bunch of bags and boxes of skincare products, makeup, hair products, nail bits, things like that, that I need to organise mainly into hair and my drawers. We have this mirror cabinet. Excuse the mess, I know it is filthy. I need to give it another clean. There's quite a bit of storage in here. So I'm thinking of just putting my skincare in there because I feel like if there's anywhere I want to do my skincare, it's here. This also lights up. I think this is the place for that. Also more storage below it, but might save that for like cleaning products, toilet roll, things like that. So yeah, back to here. Any space I have left from like not having skincare or whatever in here. I've also got a bunch of art bits. You guys might remember that I like painting and drawing and yeah, I could probably store a lot of that in here. So... We shall see, Willow. We shall see. The light in here is just pretty intense sometimes. <laughs> um, I also just wanted to add to the list of things on my mind that I'm juggling. Clearly I can't remember them all, there's that many things. But it kind of just comes under being ready for our baby to be here. In terms of like, physically with the nursery and everything. But also in terms of like my body and mind and being ready with knowledge you know about what I'm about to go into because this is our first baby so I want to be spending a good amount of time reading up on breastfeeding and just how to take care of a newborn things like that and also you know stretching and working out frequently doing things for my mind doing things for her and it's hard to kind of remember to do all of those things and think about those things when there's so many other things going on with the house work her nursery like all of it but i really don't want my body and and like me being ready for her to come last so yeah it's all just a big juggle i'm reminding myself to just trust the process and also i can't not mention the fact that i am surrounded by a lot of very lovely friends and family and nate who are all incredibly supportive and would literally do probably anything if i asked them to um, and that is absolutely priceless, so I am I am incredibly blessed for that. It's just all in here, isn't it? I just need to kind of breathe and go with the flow. 
But anyway, POA, what am I going to do? I've got so many things to do, I just don't know where to start. Okay, so I've pulled everything out. I've done a little bit of organising, but I thought I'd share the rest with you. So, so far we have got all of my nail bits in here. I was going to pop this in there to put my art bits in here, but I thought my art bits probably make more sense in there, to be fair. So let's keep this all products. <laughs> Then above, I just have some hair tools and accessories. This one's empty, it's gonna be more like hair products and stuff. This is just body bits and tan, perfume, deodorant, you know the drill. And then this top one, I've just got as like bits and bobs. And I kinda wanted to put this near the top because these kind of bits, if they're at the bottom, I forget to use them, but obviously like these are really helpful. These are masks that I'd like to do. These, to be fair, I can't, I don't think I can use them on their own. They're too strong, but I just don't want to forget about them. And then just like cleaning my brushes and stuff. So miscellaneous, but near the top for a good reason. <laughs> so yeah, I've just got this last drawer to fill with most of this stuff, but um, this is a little box of stuff for the bathroom storage. So, <laughs> look at Willow. Isn't that lovely? Do you love your new carpet? Let's go pop this away. Right, so, as you can see, we've already got cotton buds and my body oil that I've been using on my bum. Oh wow, there's a shaver socket, I didn't even notice. <laughs> The tallest item I have is this, which just about fits. I'm thinking of putting all of the glass products that I can at the bottom because there's like a lip here to stop it falling off, whereas here it could kind of slide off. Got my little jade roller, masks. Okay, that actually fits in there so nicely. <laughs> okay, I'm happy with that for now. decided to put myself together a little bit and I just filmed a video for TikTok unboxing an order from Vinted. Would you believe I got all of this for £11? And like there's four items here, three items here, three or four there, three here, two here. It's a lot of stuff. <laughs> so if you want to see that, if you want an actual rundown of me opening that and seeing what I picked up, then check out my TikTok. But I thought I could sit and do a little second trimester update now that we've finished that and we're into the third because I feel like I've got some things to say. Um, and also, I know that this whole vlog is in this room. <laughs> Promise um, future vlogs will not be. It's only because this is such good lighting in here and the tidiest room in the house, to be honest. And I've just been doing a lot of stuff in here today, so... I'm gonna stop justifying myself for filming in a certain room of my choice. So, second trimester has officially finished, which is crazy, I think. Am I 27 weeks now? I, I'm not gonna lie, I keep forgetting how far along I am. I think there's just a million things on my mind, yeah. So I am 27 weeks and one day. This is the size of her at the moment, roughly. Like, what the heck? You can't even fit her whole body on the screen. She is huge. Have I done a bump update? I don't know. I will do that at some point, but oh my gosh, do I have a lot to say. So from memory, at the end of the first trimester, I was feeling great, feeling quite a lot like myself, really enjoyed the first trimester, didn't have any sickness, and that was kind of it. Like some minor symptoms, but really like not a lot to say. I can hand on heart say that my second trimester has been harder than my first. But I've still enjoyed it and it, it's still been easy or, you know, I've, I've still felt mostly like myself. So I want to just go over some of the like highlights of the second trimester for me and also the challenges. But starting with the highlights, of course. So number one has to be the fact that I started feeling her kicks and found out that she was a girl. So I think I started properly noticing her kicks in my 17th week of being pregnant and they were really really tiny movements and I wasn't sure and towards the end of that week 
when I then turned 18 weeks, I was certain that I had some kicks and I was like, that is definitely a kick. It kind of felt like, and I think it's felt like this a lot the whole way actually, little twitches in your belly. Like you know when your muscle has a really big like spasm or twitch in one place? It feels like that, but you can kind of tell the difference that it's not a twitch, it's the baby. And also say if your muscle was twitching, it would be constantly twitching in that one spot, whereas the twitching kick feeling would move because the baby's feet and hands and things are moving. So yeah, that that definitely started at about 18 weeks and I think it was like 18 weeks plus five. I actually recorded the first kicks on my phone and I was so shook that I could see the kicks on my belly straight away. Like that blew my mind because they were such small kicks. I was just surprised that you would be able to see my belly moving from that tiny kick. I think the kicks started getting like big or bigger around 23 weeks, so like roughly a month later. And then about a month later again now, so at 27 weeks, the kicks are massive. And I know they're only gonna get bigger, but oh my God, my whole belly moves sometimes. She really like pushes out, it's insane. It's the most beautiful thing ever and I just, I have some days where it feels like she just doesn't stop moving, wriggling, kicking, everything, which is just so lovely. But yeah, like I kind of mentioned, also finding out that it's a she, not just an it, was a big moment. Nate and I were quite convinced that it was a boy, so it was a shock. Um, and it's just been so lovely kind of being able to identify her as a her and picture her a little bit more and things like that. Also along the thing of like kicks is seeing loved ones feel her kick, like watching Nate um, connect with her more and feel her kicks and things like that is just so amazing. And then also just having family and friends around and them feeling her move is, it's just so sweet. Also just kind of have to mention the bump growth is I guess a highlight because it's just really nice seeing my body do what it's doing, um, watching her grow and how that changes my body. But yeah. And then there's also another thing, which I don't know if it's a highlight, it's probably not a highlight, but it's not a challenge or like a bad thing either. But it's the fact that I've definitely been having Braxton Hicks, I think from around 24 weeks. And I didn't know that that's what I was having at the time, it's only in the last week that I've realized what it was. So basically, just in case you've never been pregnant or you're not pregnant and you don't know what it feels like, my belly is all squishy here, where she isn't there. That's like my organs and things that have moved and are squishing upwards. Down lower where she is, is firmer, but it's not hard, it's just firmer. It's a lot fuller. You can feel that there's like a big thing there. But again, it's not like hard. However, I'd say probably like once or twice a week over the last few weeks, I notice that my uterus slash womb slash whatever suddenly goes rock solid for only like 10 seconds maybe. At first I just didn't really think too much of it. I just thought maybe she's pushing really weirdly and like kicking and she's like pushing her back out or I had no idea I was just like whatever it's just doing its thing and I feel fine and then I think as she's gotten bigger my belly's gotten bigger in the last week I was like hold on this is weird so I googled it and I googled something like uterus hardening or something like that and it basically was saying that throughout like your whole pregnancy, your uterus will practice contracting, which is Braxton Hicks. And obviously later on in your pregnancy, it gets a bit more intense, a bit more obvious, sometimes a bit painful. Thankfully so far, not painful for me at all. Just a little bit uncomfortable sometimes. But again, it, it doesn't happen very frequently and it passes really quickly. So yeah, it's just a weird thing to note. And then my challenges, which is the longest list of them all. <laughs> I have actually been recording it all in my pregnancy journal. 
So I was just flicking through there to look back at my notes, which I'd forgotten things. I love that I've been recording things in this, but I've written down a kind of like summary on my phone. So number one is pelvic pain. I don't remember if I felt this in the first trimester, maybe a little bit towards the end, but 100%. Second trimester feels like it's ruined my pelvis and I'm a little bit concerned about what the third trimester is going to feel like, but I'll just do what I can, take it day by day. I basically just can't go for super long walks and I'm very cautious of walking on uneven surfaces like loose sand or even just up and down steep hills. It's just not fun on my pelvis, so that's been quite a challenge I would say. So like I said, I didn't have proper nausea or morning sickness in my first trimester. I did have a day or two when it was really hot where I suddenly felt quite nauseous and dizzy and just really hot. I think maybe that actually only happened once. But in my second trimester, I've actually had that a couple times, probably like two or three times, again, not much. Less about the heat, I think, or like about me getting too hot or hungry or anything like that. It was more being in a really stuffy room. A couple times I just suddenly got quite dizzy and I wasn't sure if I was gonna throw up or faint. <laughs> so both times I just got myself to the bathroom and sat on the floor and then it just passed. But that wasn't fun. But again, two or three times, I really have nothing to complain about, it's fine. <laughs> my gums have also receded a little bit on one of my teeth, um, which I've never experienced anything like that before, and I know that you can have gum problems in pregnancy, so I'm assuming it's that. Um, it hasn't gotten any worse, but I definitely need to go get that checked out. And I did also, kind of along with that, have some swollen gums and like pain in my wisdom teeth coming through. I also, for the most part, have just felt quite tired and just not very physically fit, which just is not a fun feeling. The gym's been a passion of mine for the last like five or so years, so not feeling like I can properly use my core or my abs and like move about the way I usually would has just been strange and just not fun. But it's definitely something I'm getting used to now, so it is what it is and I'm just excited to kind of be able to train a bit more normally and move my body a bit more normally next year, postpartum once I've recovered. I'm almost there, two more things. So another one was that I got a UTI, which apparently I had one in the first trimester but the doctors didn't seem to mention that to me, they only told me when I had it a second time. So I was put on antibiotics for that and apparently that can make your pelvic pain worse but even going through a course of antibiotics my pelvic pain didn't get any better. So either I still have a UTI or it's just completely separate for me. But I'm feeling fine, I didn't even know I had a UTI, they just wanted to test me from like some of the pains I said I had with my pelvis and stuff. So yeah. And then the last thing is something that's kind of like been and gone. I don't really feel like this anymore. This only really happened between 18 to 22 weeks, give or take a week. But what was happening is I was feeling very full and bloated in the evenings and it kind of got to a point where I thought I'm gonna have to just eat little and often. I can't eat normal sized meals anymore, mainly in the second half of the day. But it actually just passed. I don't know if my body's just adjusted or what, but I definitely haven't felt like that in quite a few weeks now, which is nice because it was very uncomfortable, I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, past 27 weeks and into the third trimester, and I am physically feeling really good, just other than the pelvic pain and emotional stress of moving house. <laughs> but it's all worth it. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it for my recap of second trimester. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm actually feeling like I'm getting really sleepy, so I might go do a little bit more cleaning, but I actually need to go and do some content creation. I've just remembered there's some bits I really want to do today specifically, so I'm going to do that. And I will catch up with you in a bit. I have to show you this outfit that I'm wearing. So as you can see, I am wearing this three-piece brown set. It's from Gymshark, um, and all of these items are from these sweat 
seamless collection, which is beautiful. I do think the leggings and shorts run slightly big, just a little bit. I'm wearing a medium in the leggings and the bra, which fit really nicely. They cover my bumps so nicely. and They've got a really nice compressive waistband. I loved this collection pre-pregnancy. And then the jacket is actually a small, so as you can see, it doesn't actually like fit round my belly until I zip it up. I just wanted to make sure it would fit post-pregnancy. So it's a bit snug at the moment, but it does fit. Maybe for not much longer, but I really, really like it. I actually find this really flattering. I would happily train in this, walk willow in this, you know, live in this. <laughs> It is beautiful. I think this is one of the nicest jackets I've tried from Gymshark. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna leave my code down below. And also, I don't think I'm allowed to say that. All I'm gonna say is something's coming soon. If you know, you know, keep your eyes peeled. I have created quite the mess in here now. <laughs> I have done organizing, but yeah, it's a bit of a mess. However, I think I'm gonna give you a little tour of where we're up to with the house. As you've pretty much seen, this is the guest room setup. So you've got the bed, just got some of my clothes and bits, things I need to sort out, the basket that's going downstairs, mirror set up for content, and then my desk. And just some bits, again, I need to sort out. Just ignore the bits and bobs everywhere. <laughs> Woody and his tray, it's actually quite a nice little nook for it um, to pop right there. And then we've just got the bath, storage, shower, and then, yeah, which you obviously saw the storage that I did earlier. I also ended up popping some scrunchies and like a hairbrush and bits in there as well. Also, I've just put on these thermal leggings ready to go and take this little one out. The bedroom is a little bit of a mess. Well, the whole house is, but that's fine. It's actually more made than it looks. This is just Woody and Willow making it all untidy. And then I've got all of my clothes. As I kind of said, we don't have built in wardrobes or anything up. So this is kind of organized for me to use what I need at the moment. And then Nate's using the drawers, which he hasn't popped in yet. <laughs> Bits and bobs in the airing cupboard, which is really boring. And then the nursery is kind of just looking like this, um, which we will tackle very soon, but definitely not a priority right now. And then if we go downstairs, hallway floor still isn't done. Nate's office is pretty much just that. I mean, that's his golf clubs, but there's not much in there for you to see really. And then snug is <laughs> the junk room. So this is just where all of the bits and bobs are that have not been sorted yet. I.e. the drawers I was just mentioning, they need to go upstairs. Random stuff like extension cables, decorations, books. There's actually like, it's not too bad. I'm just not really sure where to put them yet, but I will sort that soon. And also all our coats. We have nowhere for coats. <laughs> I sat down and looked at him. Immediately, he was sat up there and I sat down and he immediately jumped on here. Oh, he's been waiting for cuddles. So in the main room, this half, we have a little TV set up. We are planning on having the sofas the other side, behind where I'm stood right now, but for the time being this makes sense. And then this half is, oh my god, it just looks crazy. It'll be sorted I think, it, I think it kind of looks a bit worse than it is. Under there is the dining table, and then we've just got all the bits and bobs around it that we need to sort, which is kind of crazy. And then kitchen is very nice and organized other than these boxes so yeah i mean i think you've kind of seen the kitchen it's just the cupboards are all full now and then the utility room we have the fridge and this again is quite the mess but it will be sorted at some point it's just a lot to do in one go isn't it I'm tired it's yeah busy days, isn't it? it was your first day back at work today wasn't it yes but it's Thursday, so you've only got one more and then you get the weekend. <laughs> it's been a busy day. I'm really hungry as well. I'm going to go take this one out round, just like round the streets for a bit. You Probably sure? up to the park and like let her off for a little run. You sure? 
Enjoy you don't want to come with? Not really, but I don't want you to feel like you have to do it. You'd probably enjoy it, but I'm not. I don't want to like try and encourage you to, because if you don't want to, that's fine. I don't think I will. I need to find a hat that I can tuck all of my hair into because it's so stormy out there. It's not raining, it's just really, really windy. For a while had a lovely dinner and have just been sat chilling i've got my pajamas on and just finished cleaning the kitchen nate has made me a tea and i'm gonna go and take this makeup off feeling much better than how i was this morning <clears throat> my throat was going weird then right skincare I need some sort of latch to keep this open because it just doesn't stay open which is a little bit annoying but I am gonna take my makeup off with my favorite thing coconut oil so it's kind of getting your eyes and sit there a little bit but it's fine <coughs> face wash straight on top Followed by more face wash, double cleanse. I have soap in my eyes, so I'm not going to open them. And then I just go in with a little cotton pad, especially on my eyes. And voila. Nighttime skincare wise, I'm just going to do a bit of facial oil. This is just the oil that matches the body oil I've been using. Next time I'm gonna set up a tripod. This is so awkward. I don't know why I thought this would be a good idea. And then I'm actually gonna go in with my gua sha and do a little bit of gua sha <laughs> I don't know if that's what you say, but I feel like I need it at the moment. So that'll finish off my skincare routine nicely. I have no idea what that is but I've got like a ready pink circle appearing on my chin <laughs> god knows anyway feeling so fresh now I've done my skincare I don't know if I'm going crazy but I feel like I can already see a difference from doing a tiny bit of gua sha gua sha <laughs> just sounds so weird um but also I was thinking about how I really want to try a lash serum obviously one that is vegan so if you have any recommendations I would really appreciate that I feel like my lashes aren't bad but when I put mascara on them it's like nothing really happens so I don't know I think I need a little bit of growth I need to go and enjoy my tea before it goes cold I'm just gonna put on a batch of laundry and chill for the evening so I'm gonna end this vlog I hope you enjoyed it I feel like it really wasn't my finest work <laughs> hope to have more energy to give soon but right now I'm obviously feeling a bit drained and overwhelmed but it is what it is but yeah so many exciting things and times to come in this house which I hope you stick around for but yeah as always thank you so so much for watching subscribing liking all of that good stuff and I will see you very soon Look at that little cutie. And that one up there too. <laughs>